<laughs> that so is a lovely go. Friday. Well, so that's all the gadgets, but I want you to come over here because we've got yes. lots more. We Honestly. have got joining us now the gentlemen baristas. Hello. Welcome to the studio. Hello, thank this you very much. This is Ed Parks and Henry Ayres. Lovely Hello. to see Hi. you. How are you? Um, so we've seen all the machines, but you yeah. do kind of lots of unusual things, recipes and stuff yeah. with coffee. Yep. We've um, we've been experimenting. So um, Steve mentioned briefly cold brew. Um, so we've been well, working. I um, have heard of that until today. Well, yeah. So cold brew. It's um, it, a massive in Australia, massive yeah. all over the world, and it will be really, really huge here. We imagine this summer. Um, but we do a lot simpler, really. Uh, cold brew is a fantastic way of enjoying coffee. It really is. Lots of wonderful flavours. If you have a little smell of that. Oh, I just The smell of coffee is so yeah. divine. The taste I doesn't often live up to the smell. No, it's just you well, can't beat that Hopefully smell. it will here. Um, but with, with, with cold brew, um, as Steve said, um, it does. It reduces the amount of acidity. It reduces the bitterness. Mm. It gives you that kind of lovely, fruity, rounded flavour. Mm. Um, yeah. Um, so to make cold brew, um, we, as I say, are quite basic. Uh, we have our ground coffee, which is roughly as coarse as kind of cafetiere coffee. Uh, we then top that up with filtered water. So just in that jar, you'll have just it in there. there. And you can stop that and you sleep it. Yeah, water. very much so. So Absolutely. in London, we've got really hard water, you know, in your shower. Yeah. Yeah. You've got that lime scale in the kettle, you've got the elements, etc. So it's hard water, it affects the flavour, so tea or coffee. So with something like this, it's filtering the water, making it a lot more pure, a lot, and then yeah. helping okay. with the flavour itself, the make it more yeah. rounded. Yeah, the water becomes an ingredient. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. really is, it's that important. And then when um, you've so you've put you've got your filtered water yeah, in yeah. there, and then yeah. do you strain you just strain so off the, that the residue? We brew for sixteen hours. So 16. you stick it in the fridge, overnight. leave it just overnight. Um, yeah. it's a lot slower the process because we're not having it, there's no hot water basically. So that yeah, we leave for sixteen hours and then we strain into um, any kind of filter paper in, over a muslin. And then you're left with this. And you're left with cold brew. There yeah. we go. Um, so there's two there if you would like can, to sample can you taste it. Oh, absolutely, like go for it. Yeah. yeah. Cheers, what you should find Cheers. Yeah. all the best is it's not as acidic as say and as bitter as say your traditional espresso. Oh, I like good. it. That's good. Yeah, good. Yeah. It tastes nice. Yeah, just... I could drink that with ice. I'm not yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a summer coffee. Absolutely, absolutely. And that's and you and, and you'll get it a lot this summer. Um, mm. So we have um, well, we've come up with three recipes that we thought we'd bring on today. Okay. Um, that we where we've, we've only got. I'm just told about a minute. Well, okay, cool. We'll just we'll just quickly run roll. through. We'll run through this one and then we'll see where we get to. Um, so we did uh, a very quick salad um, using blood orange, uh, chicory, and walnut. Mm -hmm. um, so we've done a salad dressing using honey, a bit of lemon juice, and a bit of white wine vinegar and um, the cold brew here really 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 complements all of the flavors in there so that lovely blood orange the acidity we get from that the bitterness so the of the chicory so we're going to so put the coffee just now oh, so we do the dressing and then just a very small amount of cold brew coffee do I put, um, started putting a bit of coffee granules, instant coffee granules in my spaghetti bolognese Lovely. sauce? Lovely, absolutely. And it's delicious. Yeah. Fantastic. You wouldn't know it's yeah. coffee. Well, we'll it gives it that rich. Coffee and tomatoes, fantastic oh, combination. Okay. So here we are with our little salad, which you can just have a quick try of. Lovely. OK, well, let's just pass that and we'll have a little try. There you go. Yeah, there. Thank you. So hopefully what that. Got over here? Uh, so this is our, we've done a cold brew ketchup. So actually tomato ketchup, a homemade tomato ketchup with cold brew. Mm. So all we've done is we've, nice, That's like really it. Lovely. Yeah. Brilliant. So Coffee's last night well. we roasted the tomatoes, sieve those, so you've got the skin mm. out and everything. It doesn't have to be vine tomatoes, whatever you've got in the fridge. Yeah. Then we add some herbs and that stops you whether you want to use basil, bay leaves, etc. You could get a little tied up into a little bunch or muslin. We're going to pop that in there, a bit of brown sugar, yep. simmer for 20 minutes to get reduction and then you end up with this. This lovely thing. Do you want to, yeah, our cold brew I'll give you a quick taster. There we go. So you haven't put the coffee in yet? The coffee's in there, yeah. Oh, yep. so we stir the coffee in right at the end of cooking. So we don't want to cook the coffee, we just want to stir it in oh, right at the end. Oh, that is absolutely yeah. delicious. And so that, that, yeah, I'm going to have a go. Mm. As a oh, bacon that's sandwich. strong and absolutely. so but many flavours. the coffee flavors. really, really complements the tomato. Oh, yeah. um, but you wouldn't finally, know there was coffee in that, no. would you? It's almost sweet as well. Yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. Good I love it. We've got a drink at the end here, which we've done, which is a very quick, it's just a shaken cocktail of raspberries, blackcurrant, bit of sugar syrup, some blood orange, and then, of course, cold brew. Right. I have a go at this. Yes, Buy them my okay. favourite espresso yeah, mocha. Yeah, 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 that's there for you. That's Thank you. We will put all the details yeah. on our website, by the way, if you're loving so recipes. You imagine, I love that. I'm going to love this. That's for you. So after. if you imagine that in the morning, you this know, is my day job. You get now, caffeine, yeah. you get the fruitiness, it's healthy. Nice. You get that caffeine Absolutely. kick from that. So you get that, but it's really, really healthy Ooh. as well. Can you, can you taste the coffee in it, though? I yeah. Quite yeah. subtle, yeah. Mm. yeah. I mean, in the, in the tomato sauce, you can't, no. it's just rich, but yeah. you can, yeah. it's got a nice kick. It's a bit like nutty when you use like nuts with food. Absolutely, you just have that good. Well, you know, I've learned a lot. We've got a position open as a barista at Saturday. I'm now. Saturday morning. He's got nothing to do after. Day. No, that's it. I'm unemployed. Yeah. Saturday no, done too. Here we go. Start Monday. Brilliant. Deal. Yeah. Boys, thank um, you so much. Ed and much. Henry, no thank problem. you. The gentlemen baristas, everybody. Thank and you. I said we'll Cheers. put the details on the website and all that. Really Great. interesting. Thanks. Thanks.